So if any of you have ever had the experience of being head over heels in love for someone, you'll know what it's like, that you try to arrange to be with that person, you think about that person a lot, uh, you might uh, get gifts for that person, you might try and communicate a lot with that person. Uh, you want to be with them, right? You want to be with them. Uh, it's even sufficient at times maybe to have a photo of theirs and just kind of gaze longingly at it, or maybe a screenshot of something they once sent you, you know? And this is all, it's all good, it's all good, it's all good. Nothing, nothing, nothing weird here yet. Uh, but the, basically, when we love someone, we desire to be with them. So when we think of then, when we think of God who is love, remember, love isn't something that God does, like an action. Love is what God is. So it defines him. It, it, it's, it's, it's he, like, I, I am a human being. I don't do human being. Like, love is what he actually is. So he can't not love. Uh, otherwise, he'd be contradicting his own very nature. So God is love. So because he loves us so much then, he, he, he wants us to be with him. He wants to be with us and he wants us to be with him. And not only, you know, for like a night out, like one would uh, desire for, for, for someone that you find attractive or someone you like, but he wants to be with us for all eternity. And so then everything that God gives us and everything uh, that his providence provides is all for our good and our ultimate good, which is heaven. So the existence of the church, right, is for what? It's not just that we have something to do on a Sunday morning, but it's to guide us to heaven, right? It's to give us the Holy Eucharist, nourish us with the word, and, and then send us out as missionaries to as such bring other people back to God, where, why, so that we may all get to heaven. Sacraments the same way. Why, why are they given to us? The absolution that we get, the Holy Communion that we get, the, the various uh, vocations uh, that, that we can have within the church, what are they all for? They're not an end to themselves. They're to get us to heaven. The goal of, of even getting married is that the couple sanctify each other and go to heaven. The goal of becoming a priest that we become sanctified and hopefully sanctify others and get to heaven. It's all heaven. Everything is about heaven. Same then today, the Feast of the Guardian Angels. The purpose of the Guardian Angels is what? It's not just a, like God was, I don't know, uh, bored one day and decided, well, better do something today in case our lady gives out to me. So, uh, and so he just creates the guardian angels. You know, they're there for a reason. Their purpose is to be messengers, okay? Messengers, so they, they, they're divinely appointed, they're heavenly creatures, appointed to each one of us to inspire our intellect and our will, to enlighten our intellect and our will that we might choose the good, right? And then in choosing the good, what's the, again, the ultimate end of choosing the good? Heaven. So your guardian angel is given to you to help you to get to heaven. Now, it's going to be fairly, I, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like, but it's going to be fairly surprising or interesting to actually meet our guardian angel face to face one day, which, with the help of God, is going to happen if and when, with his grace, we get to heaven. You're going to actually see your guardian angel. Uh, it's going to be very interesting. I don't know, I, 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 I can only imagine. I have no idea what I'm going to say. Or what, or what he's going to say. Um, I might just say, sorry. <laughs> you know, uh, I gave you a lot to do, didn't I? Really sorry. Interestingly, in Fatima as well, uh, before Our Lady appeared, the visionaries saw the angel of Portugal. So not only do individuals have guardian angels, it seems that countries have guardian angels as well. In, in, along that same vein, then, it's quite likely that uh, maybe dioceses, parishes who knows i mean there's plenty of angels god there, there, there isn't there isn't a, a, a shortage of angels out there but who knows like the amount of angels and and the levels of angels that we have protecting us your guardian angel the angel of your parish or diocese or country if you're in a religious community or order i'm sure there are other angels there so there's a whole host of angels praying with us praying for us with the ultimate goal of getting us to heaven this is what it's all for so we remember today the presence of our guardian angels. And if you're watching this mass on live stream, your angel is with you, your angel is beside you. For all of us here in the chapel, our angels are with us. And they know what's happening here. They know who will be present on this altar in a few minutes. They know the reverence due to God, the adoration due to the Blessed Sacrament. 
So let us learn from them. And let us follow their inspirations and their guidance to our heavenly home. <laughs>